Auntie J. <laughs> <laughs> you've been married for you've been married forever. Please answer that. <laughs> uh, I think I think some of the things and, and, and it goes to what you were saying last night mm -hmm. because I thought that was that was really interesting, you know, that, that feeds into the title of the of the movie, Potato Potato. You the issues that tend to break up marriages are issues that are so small that are that are just made to to have this high become hydra headed if you can just realize that you're approaching things from different standpoints so you say potato because you probably went for the Nigerian audience, you went to a school on the island, probably uh, St. Saviour's and <laughs> all that. And then you say potato. Now, probably you went to, um, what, some school on the mainland that, you know, so you're, you're coming from different perspectives, all right? But at the end of the day, you're both human. That's it, that's it. You're both human, human beings who are in love with each other. You know, and so talk about it. And if you have to argue about it, argue about it. But if you, and you know, and then at the end of the argument, make up. But it's not a reason to separate. And I think that's the point of potato yes. potato. Yes. Potato potato says, you know, I mean, you can say now because I said potato, and then you say potato, but I could say potato. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes. And then it gives it a totally different exactly. inflection, you know. So it's um, it's it's that that we don't, and and that's the message of the film, mm -hmm. that we don't, you know, we don't have to separate over those trivial things. Trivial things, exactly. Yeah. You know, it's um, I've got a very, I've, I've got a very visual mind. You know, and um, usually once I've finished writing or whilst I'm writing, there, there are faces that come at me, so many faces. And then by the time I'm done writing, you know, I've zeroed into, you know, one or two faces that I think that would be good for it. And the reason I would, I would go for those people is because they emote the kind of, you know, the, 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 the feelings of these characters, I, I, I see them being able to handle the thing. And so for me, um, it, the casting starts from, uh, from, from the script and then it goes off to you know, actually calling these people. So for OC, uh, like I've said, I've said many times, I had worked with OC a few, uh, I think a couple of years before that. Um, I was looking for an actor who could play both roles, you know, bring the drama as well as the comedy. You know, I wasn't looking for a straight out comedian or a straight out drama, you know. So I, I needed somebody who could handle it and be sensitive about, about it. And for me, I thought that, you know, he, he could do it. Um, I was also looking for a husband that, you know, would, would, it, would get sympathy. And I see that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, <laughs> yes, that happened a lot. <laughs> yes, you know, because you know, yeah, he could seem so helpless. Like I'm <laughs> trying so hard, you know. And you need an actor who's skilled enough to be able to, you know, get that out of you. Okay, yeah. Um, Jocelyn, um, Jocelyn, I, I have worked with uh, severally on, uh, you know, on other projects. Um, she wasn't my my first option uh, because um, she and OC had worked on uh, a movie. Um, not long ago and I, I was hesitant to put them back together even though I, I know that they have great chemistry you know so I you know went round in circles for a bit and uh, came back to her because it just seemed <laughs> like you know you know she why she, fix she, it when it's working <laughs> exactly you know it just yeah. seemed like it was so obvious yes, you know yes. I was looking for um, you know uh, uh, the glue character had to be beautiful you know, obviously not just beautiful, but somebody who had that presence on screen, you know. And then she also needed to be stubborn, you know. And even though Jocelyn is not as stubborn in, in, in real life, she's able to bring that, you know, to bear very, very well on screen. And um, also somebody that, you know, the boys could, you know, could could, could make jokes, uh, you know, especially when it comes to, you know, her body type and stuff like that. And it, for me, it worked. And then there's Auntie J. I, I, I mean, I've been a huge fan of Auntie J forever. Okay, and uh, I, I was I was looking forward to the 
opportunity to bring this woman you know <laughs> onto my set and so of course when this happened I was like ah perfect you know I was looking for somebody who could play funky and so when she comes down to being serious and being stern she could also bring that to bear and for me it was just obvious and every time we made her up and we put on her stuff she just looked I mean I remember we put Auntie Jay there, we put Jocelyn there, and they just look like <laughs> they have been mother, uh, mother and daughter forever. You know, it, the chemistry was just so obvious. You know, so that worked. Cresato, I knew she, uh, he had that funny bone in his body. And, you know, I was looking for a handsome guy who obviously will give OC some, you know, some problems. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it just seemed like when you put Chris there. And for some reason, Chris had worked out so much. He, he was looking so the buff. buff yes. You know, so if you, if you put OC's very, you know, slim, slim body next to Chris's, <laughs> it just sort of... And Chris is so silly, you know. And so many times we're trying so hard not to laugh. I mean... OC, Blossom, everybody was like, because he was acting so silly, you know, so that worked. Nikki is a, a bundle of joy, you know, I've worked with her, I know in real life Nikki is fun, she's exciting, it was easy. Blossom, obviously I've been working with Blossom for the last two years on Champagne, you know, and this was, this is also a different side of Blossom that I wanted to explore. You know, and I know that Blossom and OC naturally have, you know, they have the friendship thing going. And, you know, it, it just needed to be easy. I needed the casting to be easy. I needed the chemistry to be very natural. And so the, the first thing that was most important was chemistry. Chemistry among the cast, you know, it needed to work. And once I got that out of the way, everything else was, it was just perfect.